coughing here, a fever there. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of it, actually. And one thing is for sure, it seems like the flu these days is everywhere. And the H1N1 strand is making a comeback. Karen Laird joins us live in studio with tonight's big story. Roland Tara, last year, 35 people in Idaho died from flu-related illnesses, and just today, the season's first flu death in the state was reported. Usually, doctors are most concerned with young children and elderly people, but this year, things are a little different. Well, both of my kids are coughing, and one of them's got a pretty big fever, and the other one's got a low-grade fever, so we're coming in today to see if they got the flu. Doctors' offices and walk-in clinics across the country are swamped with patients suffering from flu-like symptoms. Headaches, fever, body aches, and coughing are the main warning signs, along with extreme fatigue. My hope for today is just to, at the very least, get a diagnosis so that if we know that it is the flu, we can hunker down and keep everybody else away and not give it to anybody else. Sydney and Liam Faree's mom, Naomi, says a close family member was recently diagnosed with H1N1 and fears he may have passed it on to her kids. He was over at our house this weekend and uh, we thought he was over it, but um, it, it may, he may not have been. <laughs> the strain that the doctors are actually seeing the most of right now is the H1N1 strain, which is actually a really good match for the flu vaccine. So if you haven't gotten it yet, you may want to consider it. Health professionals usually worry most about small children and older folks, but the H1N1 strain is different. This uh, strain is a little concerning because it does impact uh, younger and middle-aged adults more, and they seem to have more severe illnesses with it. The state's Health and Welfare Department tracks reported cases and has seen an increase statewide. Flu season usually peaks around January or February, so it's not too late to get vaccinated. And as you saw there, I got the shot today myself, and you can take my word, it was very quick and fairly painless. And if you think you may already have the flu, you can get tested at a clinic and get results within 15 minutes. Live in studio, I'm Karen Laird, today 6 on your side.